With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. If you participate in a spring sport and you are actually playing games, then there's a very good chance you're playing inside. The University of Mary softball team has four home games this week, but they are inside the bubble at Minot State. Since coming back from Florida, the Marauders have played six times and all of them have been in the Magic City. It's safe to say you have to uh, take a different approach when playing in the bubble. If we can get them to hit it up into the dome, um, there's definitely benefits to that, whether it be um, you know, a ball slowed down so we can catch it or just a foul. Um, so that, you know, that's a hard strike for us. <laughs> um, but you know, hitting wise definitely makes the girls really key into staying through the ball and hitting some hard ground balls or staying through it and hitting line drives versus trying to go deep. U Mary has played 25 games so far this season, and while the team would like to have more wins, the players feel the program is heading in the right direction. We're definitely a gritty team. Um, we put everything on the field, and it's just one big family effort to win every game and put our best foot on the field. I mean, we never give up on a fight. I mean, this weekend we really showed that against some of the two, like, two top-ranked teams in our conference, and we really fought um, against St. Cloud and Duluth, holding them to two run games. We have a lot of good team chemistry going on right here, and not a lot of teams get to say that, but we all genuinely care about each other, and we get to see that play out on the field. The Marauders play Wayne State on Friday and Augie on Saturday. United Tribes played in the Women's Junior College D2 National Basketball Tournament, and today the Thunderbirds found out they have an All-American. Myona uh, Dufinay is on the second team. She scored over 16 points per game in, with 3.5 assists and 3.5 rebounds per game as well. Brooklyn Brendel has signed a letter of intent to play basketball at Bismarck State. She's a 5'10 guard for the Legacy Sabres. Well, this seems like one of those time flies moments, but this fall, Jake Kubis will be a senior at North Dakota State. He starts on the offensive line for the Bison at guard. NDSU has a couple of holes to fill with the graduation of Cody Malkin and Nash Jensen. It's always tough when you lose two All-Americans, obviously. Um, but at the end of the day, we've done it time and time again here. We've had guys step up when we need them, and guys come in and fill roles. And, you know, we've got a lot of guys who have game experience. You look at Mason and Gray, they've taken a lot of snaps in games as technically young guys. Um, so I, I think we'll be all right. Guys just got to keep get, keep coming and getting better and improving every day. And uh, I think they'll, we'll fill those roles just fine. Kuba says his goal this spring is to be more consistent. Victor Hovland set the pace in the opening round of the Masters with a 65. It was matched by John Rahm and Brooks Kepka. Two players are two shots back and there's an excellent group at four under. Tiger Woods and Tom Hoagie, two over today.